Caddis Maximus here. This happens to be the Allied Tools Hammerhead 10 inch adjustable wrench, 250 millimeter. It doesn't say Allied on it. it took me a minute to uh, do a Google image search until I found who made this, and it's a pretty distinctive design with these little kind of parallelogram boxes. It has a pretty sharp edge right there on both sides. I like these wrenches when they're rounded because many times you're over at uh, the extent of the wrench. And that's gonna, that sharp edge, particularly this one, is gonna bite in your hand. It's not gonna be fun. The worst part is, is this corner here, which is more sharp, is a side that you would use. It's called the hammerhead because it has a striking surface on it. They do make adjustable wrenches like this. Better quality ones have like a big buildup on the end here for hammering activities. But once again, that sharp edge, you're gonna be hammering, and this thing is just gonna be biting into your hand. I mean, this is something where you need to take a file or a grinder and smooth that out some. Just a huge oversight. Of course, it is a uh, cheesy Chinese made wrench. As you can see, they surreptitiously omitted the country of origin. Sold on Amazon for 10 bucks. I shouldn't have paid 10 bucks for it, but I did. It's really cheap. Usually these thumb screws actually have a spring in them just to prevent them from wanting to rock back and forth as much when you're putting them on a fastener, turning, pulling them off again to prevent the, the jaw from wandering around. Of course they didn't do that. Of course it's straight threads, not buttress threads. Makes it a little bit weaker. If we look at the broaching here, we can see it's pretty lopsided on many adjustable wrenches, if not most of the ones that I've found. Careful attention has been paid to the centering of this slot and the evenness of grinding, so it's really symmetrical. As far as jaw play, it's actually okay down there. And if we open it up really wide here, we can see that we get a whole lot more jaw play there than we do down here. What that means is that it's just more poor quality control, poor manufacturing, where the broaching or the drilling of this hole and then the broaching of the slot and the machining of the surface usually that's done in one operation to ensure that they're parallel to each other in this case it's tight here and loose here which means that relative to that bore this surface is tapering downwards so another negative to this now i reviewed a long time ago craftsman still sells them at lowe's that's this is a dual use wrench. So the idea is you pull the jaw all the way out, put it in backwards, and then what you have is you have these teeth and they're actually angled downwards. So you can grip the edge of a pipe and then use it to try to turn a pipe, kind of like a rudimentary pipe wrench. Doesn't work super well just because there is no binding action. What I mean by that is actual pipe wrenches, when you put them on the pipe, the jaw moves. So what ends up happening is this lower jaw ends up uh, putting a lot of extra pressure, keeping the wrench from slipping. It's why these type, these rigid style pipe wrenches, or I should say Stilson saw style pipe wrenches work so well as you put them on the pipe and then the harder you press, the more it, it, the more pressure it puts on the lower jaw, rocking it into the pipe, giving you a good grip. This does no such thing. You just kind of jam it on the pipe. This is at an angle, so you kind of jam it and then try to get it to turn. And the funny thing about this design here is the fact that when you're using adjustable wrenches, you're actually supposed to pull towards the moving jaw, putting pressure at the top of the jaw, kind of causing it to want to rock out. It's actually stronger when it's pulling against the, um, the leg, I'll call it. Because if you push on it, what ends up happening is it puts pressure lower down on the jaw, which then makes more load actually on the thumb screw and can dent and deform the thumb screw making it harder to adjust and so that's actually an achilles heel of this design is you actually are trying to jam it onto a pipe turn a pipe and you're actually quote unquote going the wrong direction we can also see that it has a pretty small surface right there so the unfortunate issue with that let me put it back in here The unfortunate issue with that is since this surface is much smaller, I mean, we can see how much back and forth play the jaw has. It's really a shame they didn't put a spring in there. 
the bottom edge of this jaw is going to want to get a little mushroomed and worn out. So if you actually do put any real hours and real heavy duty use on this, as they claim heavy duty, it's going to cause the jaw to want to rock back and forth and just get looser and looser. Other than that, uh, it's kind of hard to... Uh, it's kind of a toss-up. This thing is pretty poorly made, but it's the type of thing like Harbor Freight doesn't have any uh, adjustable wrenches that have the striking surface. So you kind of have to decide if you want just to spend more money and on a 10-inch size, you're probably looking at 20, 30 bucks, maybe even 40 bucks for a professional grade one which has an integrated striking surface. Uh, that's probably what I recommend unless you just want something as cheap as possible that's throwaway junkyard where you do have a striking surface. Now the other issue with the striking surface kind of being down here versus other models where it's more of a built up area up or higher on the wrench is of course you're now striking down a little bit lower rather than further out so you're just not able to get quite as much force and obviously you can't get very close to anything because you have all this sticking out beyond the striking surface. So if you're hammering against something, you <laughs> you're all, you, you better hope that you have quite a bit of extra space. The other thing here is I'm not really seeing any kind of... I mean, this whole thing is going to be through hardened, and I think that's just what they're relying on. But they didn't do kind of any induction or any kind of extra hardening right there on that hammer face. Or I would say just behind the hammer face to keep it from wanting the mushroom out. You wouldn't want the, the actual striking face super hard because it would be more likely to chip. But anyway, I have don't have many. I think I only have one other style adjustable wrench which does have an integrated striking surface. So that's kind of why I wanted to make a video about this. And it's still a current product on Amazon. And the last thing to say is probably the striking surface down here does the one good point about it is the fact that it does offer less bulk on the back side of the wrench. Anyway, I thought it was kind of distinctive and wanted to make a video about it. Don't know how I talk so long about this thing, but it has a lot of issues. That's mainly what I spent my time talking about. At least they do use a threaded screw. Of course, it's been staked, but you can usually get that screw out of there. Sometimes you can screw it in a little bit and just get a little tiny, you know, flathead screwdriver or something just to push back the little mushroomed area. So at least you can, quote-unquote, take it apart, although it already is designed to have the jaw reverse, reverse. So there's really no reason. They should have just made that a pressed-in pin and spent more time making sure that it was just manufactured a bit higher quality. And it is low quality. One thing I rarely even talk about, because it's really never an issue, is the straightness of the handles. But we can see the handle on this is uh, substantially warped which is actually a pretty rare sight on an adjustable wrench. Usually the handles are really darn straight. Uh, so, really, it's a piece of junk. But if you find one for $3 or $5 at a junk store or a garage sale or something, it might be worth picking up for the junkyard toolbox just to have a kind of a beater adjustable wrench that does have the ability in some certain situations to uh, use that reversing uh, pipe jaw. And, of course, once again... The striking surface anyway i really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please do till next time caddis maximus out